progress. What's up, YouTube? Yeah, I'm excited to be back. I know it's been a little minute. I know it's been a hiatus, but hey, 2024, Aries season, we back at it. And so I love that I'm bringing this reading in on Aries season. Shout out to the Aries. Shout out to everybody who's watching. I hope you guys really enjoy this read. And without further ado, we finna get straight into it. Oh, pause. For those of you who are new here, I'm KM Rocky. I started my readings off on Instagram and TikTok, but baby, we bringing it to YouTube because we need the longer in-depth reads. And so with that being said, I want you guys to take a look at the next picture I'm about to show you and just choose a pile that you feel drawn to. Some of you could possibly feel drawn to two pals. I would say pick the first one and watch the other one. If you happen to pick a pal you're not drawn to it, I would definitely consider picking another pal. But you know your intuition better than me. So without further ado, let's get into the read. Okay, so pal one, this is my amethyst pal. Let's get into it. So the f I'm going to do a four card spread for you guys today. The first card is going to be i don't even know why that was there the first card is going to be what's rising up between you now and between the full moon the next card you're going to have is a solution to any challenges or a specific challenge that you face now and the advice for you and then the final outcome So immediately starting to read, we have Leo energy really heavy. If you don't have Leo placements, you could be around a Leo. If you're not around a Leo, you could definitely be connected to one. Could have cut one off. But anyways, let's get into the reading, okay? And so what's rising up between you now and the next full moon? I'm definitely channeling, for real, this Leo energy gives main character syndrome. It gives, look at me now. I don't know if you are doing some. I literally heard business. So you could be working towards a business that requires you to be seen, requires you to be heard. Something about you're putting yourself out out there and it's gonna pay off like this queen of wands energy is definitely one that is like i was gonna say top of her game back on that bull again yeah, back on that bull <laughs> it's like you guys are i don't know if you realize you're meant to have that stardom type of vibe stardom type of energy people are already drawn to you now that's not mistakenly but the thing is for you it's something along the lines of what the people that you were connected to and or drawn to it's like okay not everybody you're supposed to let in and i do feel like you learned plenty of lessons surrounding that and so it's like now moving forward this queen of wands she she sits on her throne she knows who she is and i feel like many of you are starting to know your power you're starting to regain your power i was also channeling black panther the lion king the partner like show them who you are show them who you are and i can't make this up like some of y'all could definitely be into like I don't want to say this the wrong way, but I'm just getting this energy of like doing some healing work, doing some work on yourself, personal development work. You could work with candles, you could work with the elements and or you're being guided to really connect with the elements more now. I don't know what your spiritual or religious beliefs are, but if you want to light a candle and honor yourself, you want to light a candle and really connect to your higher power, I would definitely say do that with this black cat energy. You could also have a pet it could be a cat. It could be a dog. Does not have to be. I also heard iguana. I don't know. It's just like you could be into reptiles or something like that. I also feel like for you, you're starting to really love and embrace the skin that you are in. With this energy of Queen of Wands. Let me get a clarifying card with this Queen of Wands energy. It's like definitely embracing the skin that you are in. Embracing the skin that you are in. But like to what? Something about learning new techniques after long times of overthinking, after times of being... Some of you could definitely have love and or people starting to love the skin that you're in as well. Like, And I do feel like this stemmed from you loving yourself more. This stemmed from you working on yourself more. The disconnect, though, is you needing to honor your intuition. There are some things that you are indecisive about. And hopefully this reading can provide some clarity on one or two things that you were back and forth in your head about. Um, but... Something along the lines of speaking up, speaking out, and or speaking the truth could be some clarity to some of your indecision. Some of you really come through with this deity energy. Oshun could be relevant. Siren energy. Venetian energy. You could have Libra or Taurus placements. Leo. That's why I was channeling that Leo energy. Um, it's just like sun. Like this spring and summer, I don't know if you feel like you was going to be hella low key. Nah, you're going to be seen. I don't know what you're going to be seen doing, but you're definitely going to be out and about. You're going to be really magnetic to more love more connections more and again 
I'm going to pause on that. Love manifests itself in so many different ways. You can have a love for the environment you're in. You can have a love for your familial dynamic or connections. Do not automatically think this is romantic love. For a few of you, this could be. But I was just more so channeling that energy of sitting in that embodiment of love. And it's paying off. The healing work you've been doing, it's paying off. And so the next card in the spread, I got to look back at the spread. It's my first time doing it. It says, what's the solution to any challenge that you face now going within? Because again, with this energy of the indecision, you have this ace of swords, right? This ace of swords come through as a message of like back and forth. Trying to get your thoughts together, needing to brainstorm, needing to weigh out the pros and the cons with this Ace of Swords energy. It came out in reverse. So let me show y'all that reverse. You could also feel like somebody said something that kind of rubbed you the wrong way. I don't know. I kind of get this energy. Right now is the time to really be mindful. With this fool partnered by the Ace of Swords in reverse, I would not take any unnecessary risk. The fool comes through with sometimes like a naive energy but it's more so like childlike energy because you're having fun it's more so in this energy of just going with the flow but sometimes it's better to have some type of plan than to just aimlessly shoot okay what is your target that is showing up um so i think for you guys the, the solution it weighs down is something with being specific but also trusting yourself and so and then even with the specifics like let's just say you're like okay i want to start going to the gym okay what gym are you going to go to what do you want to target at the gym what days are you going to go like that's what i mean by specifics it's not necessarily to overwhelm you but you need to kind of know what direction you're headed in because with this eight of pentacles i feel like sometimes you set an intention but then it'd be all over the place because it don't be no structure no discipline okay I don't know if you had some military experience, something connected to the military or had a military parent. This I'm even channeling ROTC energy. Like there's something along the lines of like military connection here with you, pal one. But this connection kind of turned you off. I don't know if you had a bad experience and or dealt with certain leadership positions that was just like, Ugh. and so, <laughs> um, yeah, they just made you feel like everything was so super forced and you had to conform all the time. And so a lot of times you try not to conform because you like to do your own thing. But know that doing your own thing still means that you need some type of structure, still needs, still means that you need some type of regimen, some type of routine. OK, and I do feel like that is one thing that you kind of go back and forth with a lot with having a schedule and something along the lines of perfectionism is showing up for you you don't need to be perfect with this thing but it is about setting an intention for you guys the biggest thing for you right now is to set that intention and stand on it period you could be seeing angel numbers 444 888 even 1212 um literally 1212 12 on the clock as i'm looking at the spread my ipad 1212 12. and so um the advice for you so you have this page of pentacles energy and i do feel like for you that is a gentle message of you guys needing to just start small just start small somebody could be looking at braiders wanting braids just got braids planning to get braids saving for braids something with this energy of a protective style for others of you this is just an energy of um doing something new because i'm getting like with the braids i was chilling to switch up oh yes the advice for you is to get started it doesn't let me show you this fortune that I have pinned up on my board. Not a just fell behind my laptop, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, one second. One second, we gonna mess up the camera view for a second. Bro, it literally just... Bro, it literally just fell off my... Let me see. Yeah, that just blew me. It literally just like fell behind my dresser we're not going through all of that however um the fortune said all great things have small beginnings and with this ace of pentacles energy it's like yeah all great things have small beginnings and it's about knowing that it doesn't matter where you start you know where you're headed and it reminds me it reminds me of this video i saw the other day it was a giraffe running from like two lions and the lions was literally chase like pushing the giraffe in a direction of where the lead lion was gonna basically attack it but the lion steady i mean the giraffe steady running steady running steady running then the lead lion comes up and attacks him he jumps up over her kicks her in the face and keeps going and now i know some people when they think of a giraffe they like you know you think about oh, like what animal do you resonate with in the jungle most people not for the name of giraffe because you think they just 
you know, kind of lazy or they just be fighting amongst themselves. But, you know, the giraffes are built that way for a reason. They have that long neck so they can oversee, but not only just reach the food that they eat, but also defense and fighting. And even just something about you needing to remember the bigger picture of why you're doing certain things. I feel like it'll help keep you more present in the moment. Like, remember your why, remember your purpose. And that's going to assist you with this Knight of Swords energy steadily going. Step, you're very smart. But for some reason, you second guess yourself. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes other people's indecisive energy around you rubs off on you. And I also feel like this may contribute to um, you starting to talk to other people less and or telling them about certain things you're working on. Um, if you haven't, I would consider it. It's something about like you don't need to tell them everything. I'm not telling you to shut everybody out and not speak. But like you don't need to tell them everything. They don't need to know everything. Especially if they if like, keep it on need to know. OK, if they're not directly impacting it. What do you need to know for? Like, what, what's T for real, okay? Um, and so the last card for you guys is the final outcome. And I'm seeing that Aries season has you just stepping into a newfound presence of you with this sun energy, with this... It's just like a breath of fresh air. I feel like you are starting to see results and or like fruition. Yes, you could have fire placements, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Aries energy is very strong. Um, Capricorn energy showing up a little with this devil energy. And so I do feel like for you, as you progress and move forward, it is important that you stay focused on your morals, your values and beliefs, because those will assist you with releasing unhealthy attachments and or people it's also with this energy of like some overthinking trying to resurface so like let's just say you're making progress but then you start psyching yourself out you start having imposter syndrome I'm like uh let's let's resurface let's retract we know who we are and also showing up with this cancer energy um yeah i'm gonna be honest it's something along the lines of will not be connecting and or talking to others as much but that is showing up as like divine protection that is showing up as like divine intervention it is showing up to assist you with your focus because you get distracted easily power and that is one thing that is showing up in your energy and for some of you there's this energy of like along the lines of something is a distraction but you're like should i stay or should i go should i stay at this job they said they're gonna give me a raise in three months so they said that four months ago should i still talk to this person you know i mean we've been friends since whatever we've been talking since whatever are they contributing is it contributing to your future? If no, you need to make on an exit or finish your contract or whatever that looks like for you, okay? And so we are going to close out your message power one with just some oracle messages. I'm just going to see what is a card for current energy for power one? What does power one need to hear about their current energy? You got the unity card. So this can definitely mean that you are connecting more with others learning from others uniting others some of you could be like a leader in your family or the one that sets an example the one that's able to i don't know it's like this energy of like uniting a group of people for others of you this could be a leadership position at a job something along the lines of uniting the public i'm not even getting that like you're connecting with people but you're uniting it's like a group is able to collectively grow and or like see what you do and feel inspired confirmation um and so i'm gonna pull one more card what energy does pal one need to embrace what energy does pal one need to new moon what did i tell y'all about getting on some new shit i'm not lying i'm not lying i'm not for the bullshit like y'all not finna be for the bullshit like the shit i used to go for it's not working no more it's not going no more let's go to the book for this one because i just i really felt the shift when that card came out create i can't make this up pal one you got stuff to do and i'm not trying to tell you to you know go burn out and do what you need to do but you do need to get on that zoom okay it says assess your position know what you want and i want to talk about that for a little minute because for some of you some stagnancy and or lack of progression because deep down you don't know what you want some of you are scared that if you pick something you're gonna make a mistake there's no such thing as a mistake now granted granted if you run somebody on the road that is a great mistake and I hate to go there, but I'm just saying, I mean, I be trying to like check myself because y'all might do some records. But I can't say this. No. Mm. K-May Rocky was saying that everything is going to happen in this divine purpose. I've done some things in my past that I felt like, wow, that was a big mistake. But it has contributed to the woman that I am today. And I'm, I mean, if I could go in the past, I, I probably would have changed a few things. But besides that, most of the lessons I learned, I needed. I needed to get slapped in the face. I needed to get betrayed. I needed people to walk out my life. I needed people to just laugh at me, to 
I almost said something else. But yeah, like, I just needed that. I needed to be humbled. I needed to be shut up. I needed to be sit down, you know, because I don't know. It's just like, it, it's just a different feeling on the next come up because it's like you had to hit that rock bottom because when you finally make it to the top, when you finally start growing, it's going to hit different. You're going to hit different. You're going to show up different. You're going to act different. You're going to feel different. That's what it's about. Like the journey, feeling different, embracing it, embodying it, okay? It says this calm, feel energy of the new moon is here for you. Breathing in the energy of the new moon can move you to a place of detachment, thus creating clarity and the ability to see new possibilities. The new moon is a sacred time that we can honor by going within and evaluating our life choices. Choices. Ask yourself, what do you need to do to bring your dreams into a reality? Ask yourself. I want to stop right there because I feel like that's a that's a mic drop in itself because it's like I like to give you a clarity and insight. But then I like to leave you with, you know, a little sprinkle of guidance for you to take and carry into the next path. And so it's just about knowing that, um, yes, you can set your intentions and plan and do the vision boards, but you got to take action. Power one. And I do feel like every season is going to like what's the word I'm like launch you. Like a rocket launch, you're going to get launched into taking more action. And I cannot wait to see the outcome. You are destined for greatness. You are moving into a completely new chapter. I'm hearing brand new. You know, ATL, she was like, they call me new, new, because I always write the new, new. Like, you finna be on some new, new things. And it reminds me of this quote with y'all energy. It's like, I wanted some different outcomes, so I got on some different stuff. They didn't say stuff, though. They said S-H-I-T, but... You know, I'm seeing that she wants some different things now and trust that it's going to pay off. Trust this redirection. Trust that, like, that door had to close for a reason. Trust that you had to move. Trust that you had to make this turning point. It wasn't a breaking point. It was a breakthrough. Okay. But with that being said, Pow One, it was a pleasure tapping to your energy. And if something resonated, feel free to leave me a comment below. I love interacting with you guys. And uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And till next time. Pow Two, why was I just talking? And I never hit record. <laughs> so, Lord. Hey, pal too. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. And so, I pulled a four-card spread for you guys. The spread is going to address what's rising up between now and the next full moon. The spread is going to talk about a solution to any challenge or challenges that you have. The spread is also going to address some advice and then just the overall outcome. So, as you listen to this reading, I want you to take a deep breath. Listen with an open heart and open mind. And also, if you want to, you can come in with a specific topic on your mind. And hopefully, this reading can provide some type of clarity or guidance that you seek on that. So, let's get into it. Immediately starting your spread, there's Taurus and Pisces energy in the reading. You could have these placements or this could just, for some of you, this is about timing. And so, it's like Pisces season. Pisces season is like prep. It's prepping you for something that's going to happen in Taurus season. You could have got the idea from an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius placements or this could have like jump started or got your attention in Aquarius season. But the Pisces season energy is like really prepping you for this energy of the summer coming up. So know that if things are not as it's something about you wanting a certain expectation and you feel like you're, you're close or you're headed there, but you're not there yet. Know that this is a season of preparation, being prepared. OK, and literally on this season of being prepared, you're having um five of pentacles in reverse this card comes with a message of chaos ruin disorder but i do feel like with it being in reverse you're releasing this energy lack mindsets and self limiting beliefs you are releasing some of you are definitely starting to read more i'm getting this energy of learning i feel like you're learning to release certain habits unlearning and relearning for the better unlearning and relearning for your growth and speaking of growth the crystal that you guys were drawn to was oh no, it wasn't. I was about to say. It was this one. Green Aventurine. This is a heart chakra crystal. This card is good for strengthening eyesight. This card is good for increasing awareness. Let me go back to it because I don't know. I'm I'm not the girl who memorizes what the crystals are for. But um, it's definitely heart chakra energy. And I feel like you're going to be just opening up to better experiences. It says this stone will increase the manifestation of wealth in your life. The gentle green color brings feelings of charming love and harmony. Gain understanding in and through love. Meditate with one to bring peace and blessings into your reality. And so I do want to say, um, I got, while I was shuffling, like I said earlier, I started your reading and didn't record. 
I had to make sure I'm recording now. I got um, a card that talked about openness and love. And so for many of you, there's going to be more vulnerability required for certain connections or opportunities. It's like when you open up and share some of your experiences or stories, people are like, not only will they be inspired, it's going to put you in new rooms, new movement. New. No, I'm telling you, it's like you're going to you're going to be a lot wiser than you used to be. I also feel like for many of you, you are embracing stillness and or alone time a lot better than you would have in the past. It's something about like gaining peace. I've been losing friends with gaining peace. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Whatever. I don't know how the lyrics go, but you can listen to Drake. I just channeled that song. Virgo energy showing up in the reading with you having more time to self-reflect. So if you haven't, make that something that is consistent, even if it's like once a week or even better every day. I'm seeing that also. There's something along the lines of having a lot in your schedule and or external environment. External influences is really showing up heavily for you. And it's important that you are not allowing yourself to be a product of your environment. Some of you could be thinking about moving something about like switching it up i'm seeing that energy showing up but before you can move there's still some parts of you that you really need to unlearn and that's why you have more stillness than you did before especially on the subject of financial literacy and or money management okay and so showing up with a solution for you you have this hanged man in reverse hanged man in reverse shows up as surrendering and i feel like that is one of the best things you can do because it reminds me of this meme i'm gonna try to attach it but I'm new to YouTube, so if I can, I'm going to still explain it. And so it's like, um, the meme says, the situation's out of my control. The situation's out of my control. Like, when it's out of your control, you know that there's nothing that you can do. There is one specific or some specific situations happening in your life that they're out of your control. And as demotivating or disencouraging, is that the word? Disencouraging? Whatever it is, not encouraging that could be. It could be something that is good because that's not something you need to worry about because it's out of your control. Focus on the things that you can not control. For many of you, some of that is just simply with the way that you're thinking, the way that you're showing up, the way that you're speaking to yourself. When's the last time you complimented yourself, pal, to? You're so focused on what you got to do, where you need to be. Focus on who you need to be. How about that? Focus on what you need to be. Okay? That is so important, how you're showing up, who you are, because... The energy that you sit in is what you're going to attract. And I know some people be like, oh, but I be attracted things as trust. It's one thing to draw, like draw something in, but it's another thing to attract to it, to actually connect to it. And so this can show up as people and conversations that you're having. Like, why are you having conversations going back and forth with people on a lower frequency? You're lowering your vibration to prove a point. Absolutely not. And I feel like for many of you, it's like you're withdrawing yourself from that energy with this three of pentacles in reverse. It's like you're having more time alone. This three of pentacles in reverse is inviting you to solitude and retreat because you just, it's like, no, I'm not really wanting to work with you right now or just I'm not really wanting to talk to you right now. And it's nothing personal, but for some of you, people project and you're starting to pay attention to that. For others of you, you have things that you need to work on. You have things that you need to do. And that showing up is more stillness and time for yourself. Literally, the seven of pentacles, excuse me, wands, this energy of you being gro grounded, and guarded a lot more because this two of wands, baby, you trying to plan, you trying to think on next steps, long term and short term goals is showing up for you to be something for that to be something that you're monitoring. Damn, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. Hopefully, YouTube don't. I don't know how the cussing works on YouTube, but anyways. Um, this five of pentacles keeps showing up when I shuffle, and so let's read it says, Two mendicants in a snowstorm pass a lighted casement. The meanings talk about material troubles above all, whether it's in the form that is illustrated as instability or it could be destitution. Um, it could also be a card of love and lovers, wife and husband, friend, mistress. Um, it's like when you don't really have the harmony that you seek. And so think of a specific situation where you don't really have harmony externally. This could be in a connection. This could be at a job. This could be with your routine. What is going on within that is allowing you to have that without? And this is strictly for a situation that you can't control. Something with like your actions, your engagements, that disharmony with that person, that situation or the mindset that you're having toward a certain circumstance. What are you believing within? Some of you are used to lack. And so 
it's like, oh yeah, great, another situation that involves that. Absolutely not. We're going to rebuke that. I'm definitely seeing this next chapter is going to require you to let go of burdens and baggages with this Ten of Wands energy. This Ten of Wands is asking you to honor your intuition. Speak light on your life. Your word is your wand. Be mindful of the things that you are saying and thinking. Your thoughts matter. They matter. That's literally funny because as soon as I said your thoughts matter, I started coughing when I was like, your words matter, your thoughts matter. Some of you need to be mindful of the things that you are saying. Everything doesn't need to be said. Everyone does not need a response. And when you really put yourself on a higher vibration, you know that certain things is not worth stooping down for. And if anybody's trying to put you down, know that you have to reach up to put or put pull something down okay and so the card of advice for you guys is really to stay positive that's the biggest thing that i'm getting because i do see that you are going through this transition transformation but that energy shows up it's a little challenging sometimes a little painful i'm definitely channeling some discomfort for some of you it could have been some tears being shed it's this energy god it's keep i'm telling y'all this five of pentacles keep showing up and i want you to know that you are not your situation pal two and even better, you have what it takes to shift this energy. Remember, you are the creator of your own life. So think about thoughts that you were thinking three, four months ago in your current energy now. And so based on where you are now and what you want moving forward, what thoughts do you need to think? What words do you need to say? What actions do you need to take to come more into alignment with those short or long-term goals? Remind yourself of that. For many of you, this is definitely going to show up as turning over a whole new leaf. This energy is going to require you to walk away. This energy is going to require you to move. This energy is going to require you to bite your tongue. Are you ready to show up in that shift? What can you do to create more room and ease for this shift? That's what you need to ask yourself, pal, too. Okay? And so overall, the outcome is showing that you are headed towards more stability because you're releasing self-limiting beliefs, because you're not allowing your past to haunt you, because you're not allowing the old you, the something about like inner child healing showing up something about like yes capricorn energy as i say that cancer energy showing up again gemini energy Woo! oh yeah it's, it's a deep it's a deep level of transformation for you and this could capricorn leo gemini and cancer energy could be relevant for your chart and or for people around you i'm seeing that there's something along the lines of more gratitude being grateful because if you think about it where you was last year is not where you are now that's something in itself to praise every day it's something with this energy of like a breath of fresh air knowing that you are not who you used to be and i'm not saying you are a terrible person but it's knowing that you've made so much growth so much to show for and it's so funny because a lot of you i don't get that you're that flashy i don't i get that you like a little more low-key i get that you um it's like you ain't got nothing to prove for real, Taurus. You can definitely be somebody who is like really into materials. The earth energy in this reading is very heavy. And so for many of you, this is also showing up with your overspending because you like material things. And there's nothing wrong with liking material things. We are in a material world. However, know where you are and know that sometimes you need a budget. Sometimes you need to hold off on a certain purchase for later. But that doesn't mean you kind of completely forget about it. For some of you, ask yourself, why do I want these things? Is it to, and I don't think that, again, I don't think that you're trying to necessarily prove yourself to somebody, even though that can manifest with like certain family members. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna show that. You don't know. But for others of you, it's definitely this energy of like needing to prove to your inner child that like we do it, we can do it, we did it. And so like we, we can afford that thing. So I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of, no, you know, like, cause maybe the old you, and something along the lines of like, wasn't able to get certain things or you had to work hella hard to get those things and it sometimes it wasn't even much but it was like getting it out the mud type of energy and so knowing that a lot of times your spending shows up in just pleasing and splurging for your inner child because some of you couldn't have got that growing up or you had to give it to yourself i don't know it's something along the lines of like coming from a family who did not have it like that i'm not saying y'all y'all were like piss poor i'm not saying that but i'm saying it's this energy of like just not having it for real and so now you just try to splurge and yeah and spirit is like focus on experiences and energy rather than those material things focus on the things that money came by i'm hearing that quote we're not flashing money 
and, and that's kind of still a showy quote but it's like we're not placing money we're not showing money we're showing what money do and i feel like for you for yourself don't focus on the money but focus on what you can do with it that's how you attract it more because you're focused on experiences and self-development within that you are this is stuff definitely something that is like an ongoing process pile too so i don't want you to feel like it needs to be done by next week by q2 by q whatever you know like slow down some of you could like bobby v <laughs> Trey songs and channeling a little R&B. Okay, and so now I am going to use my Whispers of Ganesha deck. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to pull some cards. So based on Pal 2's energy, what do they need to hear? Based on Pal 2's current energy, let me get a met. What did I just say? <laughs> priorities priorities is showing up in your read pile too it's definitely this energy of like making sure you're showing up accordingly trusting that inner knowing of what is worth it and what is not what needs to be pushed back what is urgent for the moment take it out it resonates what energy does pile two need to embrace moving forward to come more into alignment for what they want spiritual quest again like i said you guys are on this journey and you have divine support for some of you you don't realize that the divine support is going to show up when you go within more you think that you need to do this externally, but it's like, no, you're going to see that with this withdrawal and retreat, you're going to be going with them. Priorities. This card is saying, make the most of your time. It says, every day is a gift. You have the option to make the most of what life is offering you. If you long to create organization in your life, you will benefit from prioritizing. Your ideals determine what you will seek in life. Your priorities are most visible in how you use your time. Ganesha is holding the water lily and emphasizing the importance of your values. He encourages you to know what you truly want. What did we say that earlier? Know what you want. What makes you happiest? There are always blessings that may not be apparent in the midst of a disappointment. Time is not something that can be safe for later. When it comes to the time allotted to you each day, you only have a limited opportunity. Make your choices about how you spend your time in accordance with your highest values. If you languish or procrastinate, the moment will be gone. Reevaluate how you've been spending your days and how you can strive to be more satisfied. In terms of priorities for each major decision, such as education, occupation, place of residence, marriage, or parenting, you may ask yourself, what will be the impact of my decision? In all choices, make sure that you are a certain make sure that you are certain of what your priorities are. Relate your goals to what you bring, to ways to bring love and blessings to yourself and the people you share your life with. And it's funny because you got card 30 and 40. You could be seeing angel numbers one, two, three, four, three, four, five, angel numbers that go up. And so spiritual quests. This card says you are called to realize your full potential and choose to become a force for good in the world. Whether you are aware of it or not, you are embarking on a great quest. Your soul is leading you to a myriad of discoveries about who you truly are and what you came here to achieve in this lifetime. I want to pause right there because for many of you, you are so caught up on what this one purpose looks like. When your purpose is to simply just be, a lot of humans get caught up in your purpose, your purpose, your purpose. Like I don't offer offer readings that um watch I stutter. I don't offer readings that focus on what is my purpose. Your purpose is to exist, to be, to flow. But as you do that, there's gonna be one main thing that drives you. So I know that's why people associate that with their purpose. But our purpose is not to get caught up in a one specific mission, but to evolve. A lot, a lot, a lot. What the? F Sorry, I don't know why I'm stuttering. It's like I'm kind of getting excited on this topic because Earth is a learning school. And that has been something that people are starting to become more aware of. And it's like, and knowing that, don't get so caught up in like, oh, I should be doing this. Or I need to be not granted. Yes, there is a time and place. But like, you are here to experience. You are a spiritual being living a human experience. For God's sake, experience. You need to experience some heartbreak, some setbacks, some disappointment, so you could love the triumph, the glory, the praise, the celebrations, okay? It says, each of us have a unique journey that is tailored especially for us and designed for us to reach at our highest potential. During this quest, you will gain significant insight into your purpose here on earth. For many, this journey will have been preceded by a period of upheaval, confusion, and conflict, which has birthed a desire for greater clarity and concrete answers about the meaning and purpose of your life. From this journey you are undertaking, you will gain wisdom, enlightenment, and an enhanced sense of your personal power. As you travel on this path, make a point to commit to the quest and not to be tempted by distractions that may cause you to veer off track. Ganesha urges you to focus on your energy, less on having, and more on being. What the? You, and I never got this card before. This is a new deck, and they just said what I just said. 
Your spiritual growth can be enhanced by the regular practice of meditation and self-reflection. I said that earlier. You may need to implement more consistent self-reflection how to. Um, I don't know how that manifests itself, but it's definitely showing up. And so for you guys moving forward, I definitely think that with more alone time, it's, it would be practical and good for you to just take some time out your schedule to just go within. What was, how was today? What were the highs? What were the lows? Every day at my part-time job, they asked me, what was a good for today? What was a bad for today? Or negative, quote unquote. And um, I like that because it gets me into a consistency of reflecting consistency of looking back in a sense of like my actions and what am i doing i'm not saying to look back into people or things of your past but just to look back and know that like you can teach yourself based on your results but if you're not taking that time to sit and you know check yourself you gonna wreck yourself okay but with that being said pal too i just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to read your energy and thank you so much for being here if anything resonated don't hesitate hesitate to leave me a comment below i love interacting with you guys make sure you like comment share and more importantly subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can be on the next one hopefully we have the next video within the next two weeks but uh, no later than three for sure definitely no later than the april the new month of april 1st okay and so um yeah with that being said pal two i'll see you later what is up pal three we're gonna say the best for last no i'm just kidding just in case you watch the other house y'all are all great <laughs> but with um what's up what's up what's up pal three i should be holding up three fingers Thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to get into you guys' reading. You guys got the crystal citrine, okay? And so I had to look it up because I ain't really that familiar with this one. Citrine is good for clarity, protection, manifestation, anxiety relief, strength, good fortune, happiness, prosperity, creativity, confidence. So it's definitely that safe, um, sacral and solar energy. Um element is fire zodiac gemini libra aries leo planet jupiter Ooh, you know what was crazy because i told myself the people that are pile three are definitely going to be my money makers heavy hitters and then the fact that you guys got planet jupiter the planet of expansion and growth oh yeah i'm already knowing what's up so let's start to get into this spread power three so the cards that i'm going to be pulling is going to discuss what is rising up for you between now and the full moon and your cards flying out i don't know if you've seen that but it just flew out okay the next card in the spread is going to say what is the solution to any challenge that you face the next card is going to talk about some advice for you just overall energy that you can embrace and then um the final outcome now i do want to say um as you are listening to this reading please listen with the open heart and open mind but more importantly allow yourself to just receive some type of guidance clarity or insight and if you want to a specific situation and so it's like you can ask yourself how should i move the situation or if you feel like i just want general messages then that's fine too okay so let's get into the reading pal three you guys have this four of wands in reverse this card comes with a message of inner joy inner happiness inner peace and by you focusing on that energy everything is being tripled like exponentially growing in your world for some of you i don't know if you're having more clientele you're getting a raise you got a promotion you hear a congratulations this could be on opportunities hey we received this we want to hear back we want to do this we want to do that um it's just like more people are giving you recognition or credit for what you are doing and this is just a result of the inner work the inner development the inner peace that you've been focused on so much for you i'm getting this energy of like it's been a long time coming like this is not something that you knew to but you true to it's definitely this energy of like you almost i'm not gonna say you are perfect but there's a routine a regimen that you really have perfected and or it's almost like perfect outside looking in it damn sure look perfect like for some of you i don't know if you cook it's like damn this food perfect but you you're like yeah it's pretty good but i know i still got room to grow and you're so humble you're so humble pal three and that's another thing that assists you with your growth and i'm not saying you're never gonna need to pop your stuff but i'm definitely saying it's this energy like your humility is like also why spiritually you get even more blessings because you're not flashy or arrogant or speaking speaking down on people like you don't need to worry about the next person you focus on your lane literally and so i'm definitely let me get a clarifying card for this pal um for this 
specific card anything else along the lines of this four of wands you could be seeing angel numbers four 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 as well you could be seeing angel numbers ten ten two 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 eight 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 you could have fire or air placement, so that would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And so I'm seeing that pile three. There's something along the lines of slow down. There's a okay, so if you guys were wanting a specific situation, I'm seeing a specific situation resurface that really has there's something from your past that bro. As I'm saying something from your past, we split on six of cups. And if you need to look up what um this resonates with its past energy this could be past life energy for uh, some of you this could be you wanting to get into akashic records get a past life reading this could be dealing with a recent event with a gemini or you have gemini placements taurus place um, it's not taurus aries energy showing up as well I already said that um yeah gemini aries energy really prominent in this reading i feel like you do need to revisit that situation you could have cancer leo taurus scorpio aquarius energy relevant as well to this situation i need you to revisit that Again, a lot of things, like, I do feel like on the subject of spirituality, when you can't see these things literally in the physical, it's kind of hard to believe, right? And so when you come from an energetic point of view, then things make a lot more sense. And so for you, there is a situation that you have been a little overly critical to yourself about, something about you didn't honor your intuition with that situation, and it kind of still eats you up. That's why it's been coming up. I could either see with this energy of retrograde and eclipse coming up, somebody could be reaching out from this situation, or for others of you, and yeah, I don't think you like that. Mm -mm, you do not like that. And for others of you, it is definitely this energy of, um, like, you needed to revisit that situation. I don't really, I'm not suggesting you reach out. I'm going to never say reach out, but... Bro, is this a joke? Oh, my fault. <laughs> For a second, I thought I wasn't recording. I was about to flip the phone because I did that with Pal 2. Sorry, I needed some tea. But um, yeah, there's a situation that happened with a person. And I want you to revisit that. You could do a burn letter. So write dear person and write everything you need to say and burn it. With this full moon energy, chef's kiss is going to be amazing for your energetic field, your auric field. Overall, I'm seeing that like, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired with this Nine of Swords energy. It's about releasing doubts. And when you look at that card, it's like, ugh. You got the eyeballs. You got the swords. You got It's just like a lot going on. Worms and all that. And it's like, it's not something that you want to deal with. And I can see that. However, Spirit is saying we need to revisit this to release it. Because you don't want it to keep coming up. See, the thing is, I know somebody who... She has honestly helped me a lot with embracing vulnerability and sensitivity. Because... This person in particular just detaches. And I'm like, hmm. And I know that people be like, oh, but it doesn't bother me. But when you see somebody who is not affected, but then they resurface with certain lessons that are on repeat. And it's like, what am I doing? You're not honoring your feelings. You're not sitting and releasing. And so when it just, when you, de not even detach, when you disassociate. And not truly healed and recovered from that situation. The same thing is going to happen. Different person, different season, different name, different job, different environment. Whatever this is for you, pal three. And a lot of people don't realize that affects your choices moving forward. When you don't really heal and go past that, that energy becomes karmic. And it's going to resurface because you're deciding that like, oh, I'm just going to bury it. No, that is a huge cycle that this collective needs to break. You guys are showing up a little stubborn, <laughs> a little hard headed. Sometimes that reflects an emotional immaturity within yourself. And then that causes you to attract this in other people and or situations. And this is not to beat yourself up. This is just to be more cognizant of the choices that you are making. You need to sit in this energy more. There's a specific situation that still bothers you. And I need you to be real with yourself. Somebody was being sneaky and or just like weird. Like, why, why would you do that? And so it caused you to pull your energy back. They could have Virgo placements. You could have Virgo placements. I'm getting connection energy here. But for many of you, this could just be like a job that you love with this two of cups. Sagittarius energy showing up. 
this lovers comes with a message of morals, values, and beliefs. And I do feel like particularly for this situation, Pal 3, you did not honor those morals, values, and beliefs. And that is okay because your soul needed to learn that. Your soul goes through these challenges, these tribulations to evolve. Okay, the solution for you is to really deep dive in on what this revisiting of that situation looked like. So is it like, do you need to revisit the environment? Do you need to like meditate on it? Do you need to do a cord cutting? Do you need to do some type of banishing or releasing ritual? What do you need to do, pal two? Um, excuse me, pal three. Um, somebody watching this could have watched pal two as well. But I'm just getting this energy of like, you do not want this to. I see a lot of people who like don't heal that inner child until they grow up and be some bitter adults. And it's, it's not cute. And so you don't want that to be something that you do subconsciously from not going within. Some of y'all are still questioning the best method. Sometimes you have to reach out to a professional, whether there's a therapist, a counselor, a Reiki healer, a reader. You're not meant to do things on your own. And I also feel like the situation has you a little more drawn within like damn i really fumbled that money or dang that person really hurt me. whatever this is i can see that it's something that really affected your creativity it also affected your um confidence it's not bad but trust me that it lingers even if you feel like you don't know or see it it does affect your confidence for some of you this is your confidence in choice of people this is your confidence in decisions that you need to make for your stability it's just it's affecting your confidence and i just need you to really pour more self-love into yourself light a pink candle for compassion for self-love light a light a red candle for grounding doing some color work could really be good for you red deals with grounding energy it's going to help with that root energy for sure I'm definitely seeing that you are heading in a new direction, though, and that's also why you're really being guided to let go of these old habits, these immature ways of thinking, because the new you is like no more. The new you is like, whew, you know, stuff I used to sweat over, I ain't even stunk me. Okay, and that's definitely going to be something that's powerful for you. I'm seeing power through that you guys are some people who tend to be like caught up in the little details of things, and I don't know if this manifests itself as overthinking or manifest itself as procrastination because you're worried about things being like so crossing your T's down your eyes, which is a good thing. But know that sometimes you could be, it's something about like a strength can show up as a weakness and you need to work with it. I set this example the other day in a TikTok reading. I was saying like the Avatar, I love that show by the way, the Avatar, the last airbender, you know, he was such a strong bender, but he had to learn how to work and train that strength because it showed up as a weakness because he couldn't control his powers and he would hurt people or just do things and mess something up. And it's like you need to control that. That energy of you being just overly detailed shows up as you being your biggest critic sometimes. And you need to work with that energy. Just because you notice something doesn't mean you need to condemn yourself for it or beat yourself up about it. You need to send yourself more love because honestly, so many other people send you love. You don't realize it. And I also feel like for many of you, that situation with that friend, that job, that lover, that partner, whoever, that parent, family member, it, it has you kind of like a little more guarded than you should be in connections. Because right now, some of you are like, nah, I'm good. And now while that, be, while that could be something that is good for you to focus more on yourself, don't block blessings from just getting to know people i'm not saying you need to marry or be lifelong friends but getting to know people we come into contact with people for a reason and so for many of you you will see within the next month or so you're getting to know a new person this i'm not getting this energy of lovers or like lifelong friend vibes but like just a certain experience and it's like enjoy it okay and so overall, the outcome for you, I'm seeing that you are focusing on reciprocity. This personal transformation is causing you to become a lot more um, focused on your fulfillment and reciprocity with this Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Again, Pentacles energy is definitely resonated. Pentacles energy is definitely resonating with Jupiter energy. And that's so funny because the Daughter of Pentacles just fell out when I did that. And then this literally three and four. Y'all are so focused on money right now. Like... It don't make no sense. And I feel like for many of you, this is also like money management, energy management, like how I'm managing my time and my energy is showing up really important for this collective power three. I'm seeing that you guys really need to be a lot more cognizant and aware than you used to be in the past. With this Sagittarius energy showing up with tempers, I'm seeing that you need to embrace the process of figuring it out. Stay positive, Aquarius. That's the energy that's showing up. 
the star card talks about having hope and faith for all that you desire knowing that you can do it knowing that you are more than worthy you're smart enough you're kind enough you're tall enough, whatever it takes some of you could be short though <laughs> but like if you like want to play basketball you're tall enough to do it you got the skill set all you see is what you lack and not what you packing okay i need you to start seeing your strengths and still cultivating and working with those okay and so we're going to move to my seeker oracle deck and we are going to just be pulling some messages based on whatever you need to hear so what is a message that pile three needs to hear based on current energy okay you guys got what did i say tell your story actually i can't remember if i told y'all that <laughs> Tell your story. If you have not already been, trust that you will be soon. Because literally I was feeling my throat during your reading, like throat chakra energy. And I'm like, oh yeah, something about speaking up or being honest is relevant. And so what does Pal 3 need to embrace moving forward to come more into alignment with their morals, values, and beliefs? Undeserving villains came out in reverse. Some of you are really needing to check... Um, your perspective on something and so this undeserving feeling villains card shows up as an energy of like seeing your cup half full versus half empty i'm gonna do that card first undeserving villains because this card always has like a very unique message for me and so it's this card looking at these little gentle bats like these little ass bats <laughs> and it's like People see bats and be so caught up, like, oh my God, it's a bat, da, 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 da. but bats have such powerful spiritual messages. And so it says, gentle bat knows what it's like to be an undeserving villain, prey to the fear of others, from claims that it's a bringer of bad luck to accusations that it is a creature with a sinister compulsion to drink blood. And still more allegations that is a spreader of this ease and pestilence, the bat has suffered at the hands of human ignorance. The facts paint a different picture. Even though bats are an unwitting vector of disease, less than 1% of bats are infected with diseases like rabies. Canine rabies account for 98% of cases worldwide, yet our, com our canine companions are not cast in the same light. Another truth that is never mentioned is that people have only been affected and infected by a bat after attempting to catch or harm one. And so typically that's just the bat's way of self defense it is our incursion into their habitat that exposes us to the diseases they carry it says humans vilify bats destroy their habitat and use millions of tons of toxic pesticides to kill the insects that bats help to control bats message is simple good and bad exist in all circumstances all living things are capable of behavior that can be perceived as harmful but do not but not to the detriment of all that they do. Do not blindly believe the anecdotal claims and misinformation peddled by false experts, those with a personal agenda, and those who purposely paint someone or something in a bad light. Pause. I also feel like for some of you, this has been other people projecting onto you and sometimes subconsciously that has affected you. Some of the comments that people have said to you still linger, and I want you to release that energy. Tell your story. It says we all have a history, a story to share. By sharing our story, we share real life issues that often reveal that others have had similar experiences. It can bring people together. All of a sudden, they discover that they're not alone. There's no right or wrong way to share. But, use discernment, there's a right time and a right place. Sharing at the right time can bring people together. Sharing at the wrong time can alienate people, especially if they too have been attempting to be heard. Be careful when you use your voice that you do not speak over others. Yes, to listen and to hear others share their story is equally as important as sharing your own. Give yourself permission to tell your story, for it is your truth. Allow others to bear witness. Sharing their story is too powerful. Owning it completely is to stand in your light and shine. Doing so may provide an opportunity to address any past issues that still cause confusion, heartache, or have you feeling afraid and angry. Sharing can bring clarity and hope to dissolve the emotional bonds that anchor you in the moment. It can help you heal or transcend them. It can help you move forward with a lighter heart and spirit. Share what's in your heart and mind, Little Bird says. Sing your song, whether it be sweet or sorrowful. It is beautiful and powerful. And so I do feel like that is for you guys to know that you have a place. You have a message. Okay? You are definitely going to be coming more into alignment with fortune, growth, and expansion. Also, I feel like, uh, like in alignment with this retrograde and um eclipse energy that is coming up in a couple of weeks i want you guys to really be mindful of picking sides and or voicing opinions i want you to keep a neutral perspective for some of you this can look like somebody saying you always want to play devil's advocate you always want to defend but it's like no you're just not quick to judge you're not quick to choose sides i want you to just listen to things from a neutral perspective especially if you're the type to always defend your people 
that's a natural human thing. Like, I love you. I'm going to defend you. I'm going to show up. But I want you to be mindful of that energy moving forward. That's just showing up a little bit. But with that being said, Power 3, thank you guys so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you guys so much love and healing. And if something resonated, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and more importantly, subscribe and turn on post notifications. So I'll see you in the next one. Later.